Hello and welcome to the Singapore Indoor Stadium for quarterfinals day here at the Li Ning Singapore Open. Event number six on the 12 tournament OSIM BWF World Super Series. And this is not only event number six, but also the last major event prior to the London Olympics. And therefore the last chance for the players to gauge their form prior to those all-important Olympic Games. Well, as I say, 12 tournaments make up the Super Series with five of those 12 tournaments being premier events. Well, the crowd here already enjoying some good action here on quarterfinals day. We, of course, will have five quarterfinals for you. There's the entire calendar of the OSIN BWF World Super Series. Halfway mark, and of course, at the end of the season, we have Super Series finals. And those for the top eight players or pairs in each of the five disciplines. So an awful lot to play for with the Super Series. really is uh, wonderful. Innovation by the BWF, the Badminton World Federation, this elite tier of tournaments. So, I'm Jill Clark, and as I say, it is quarterfinals day, and five matches for you. We're starting with mixed doubles, and last year's beaten finalists this year, the number two seeds, Chen Ling and Chen Wen Singh of Taipei. They're up against the top Indian pair, Diju and Guta. Then we'll have uh, women's doubles and the only Singapore players ever to have won a title here at their home event. The 2010 winners, Shinta Muliot Sari and Yao Lei, up against Maeda and Suetsuna, the number four seeds from Japan. Following that, so we'll have men's singles and a former world junior champion, Victor Axelsen from Denmark, up against the qualifier, Sonny Dui Kunchoro, but don't be fooled by the qualifier. He did win this event two years ago. Then women's singles and another home player, Sing Ai Ying, up against the 2009 East Asian Games gold medalist, Ip Pui Yin of Hong Kong. And then the last of our matches, a second men's singles and another former world junior champion, last year's semi-finalist, Wang Chengming, up against the left-handed Malaysian, Chong Wei Feng. So a great lineup for you this afternoon and one or two matches already on in progress on the adjoining courts. But of course three action three courts in action this afternoon that we're keeping our spotlight on the centre court. So the players emerge from the tunnel there. And the spotlight in the magnificent Singapore Indoor Stadium. One of the best venues anywhere in the world. This iconic venue here. And the players all love playing this event. So the Indian pair, the number six seeds, Diju Valiavitil and Juala Gutta. There's Duala Gutta, the left-hander, the 28-year-old. Oh, a little older at the age of 31. Both of them reside in Hyderabad. They go up against the number two seeds today, Chen Hong Lin and Chen Wen Singh of Taipei, who, of course, a year ago caused an absolute sensation by reaching the final as an unseeded pair. So this mixed doubles quarter final. And then there, the left and right handed combination. And the Indian pair currently have dropped to number 14 in the world. I say dropped because, of course, they have been as high as six, but of course, with all the injury woes to Dijon, they've actually got up in the world ranking in recent times. Well, there you can see this bottom half of the draw. And Diju and Guta coming through in two straight games, their first two matches. And for the pair from Taipei, well, as you could see, they got a bye in the first round and then pushed the full distance in their match yesterday against Hao Kawa. 
and Matsutomo of Japan. So there is the 28-year-old from Wada, but raised in Hyderabad. Bronze medalist, of course, at the World Championships in the women's doubles was Juala Gutta last year, playing with Ashwini Palapa. Diju Vabiyavito, the 31-year-old from Kerala. And in April last year, he underwent back surgery. So it's wonderful to see him back to full fitness and back qualified for the Olympic Games. This pair from India qualified at number 14 on the ranking. And as you can see, number six seeds and their win loss record from the year still in the negative, but they did reach the quarter final of the Korean Super Series earlier this year. So this is their second Super Series quarter final of the year. Of course, they have been better than that. They've been in two semi finals as well. So hoping today to make it through to their third Super Series semi final. So to their opponents, the number two seeds, Chen Hongling and Chen Wen-Sing. Number five currently in the world ranking, and that's the highest that they've ever been. Win-loss record for the year translates into winning the Australian Grand Prix. Eight tournaments they've played. And as I say, well, they had a bye in the first round and then against Kenichi Hawakawa and Misaki Matsutomo of Japan. Pushed the full distance, won the first, and in fact had three match points to win that second round encounter in two straight games, but they couldn't convert, and therefore had to play a decider. But they were pretty convincing in that deciding game, 21-13. Well, this is the third meeting between these two pairs. And for Indian fans, it will be a little bit ominous that the previous two encounter encounters have both been won by Chen Hongling and Chen Wen Singh. Last time they met was in the second round of the Japan Super Series last year. And the first time they met was in the Malaysian Super Series, where it went the full distance. So the Indian pair, the number six seeds, Diju Valiyavitel and Tuala Gutta, getting this quarter final underway. And on the left hand there, as she so often does, getting very, very involved from the very first rally. She is a wonderful reader of the game at the front of the court. doubles player, not only a bronze medalist at World Championships last year, but a gold medalist in the Commonwealth Games in 2010 when the Commonwealth Games were staged in Delhi. Oh, oh, a lot of mixed doubles is all about the ability to control the front of the court. And that tends to be the domain of the women. More agile, perhaps, than their partners. And their partners, obviously, physically stronger from the back of the court. So that's the favoured formation. They're trying to control the rally at the back of the court from the man. Setting his partner out to finish it off at the net. Oh, I was going to say great defence, it went just wide.
Oh man, is Dijoux. 188, that's six foot two. Start by the Indian pair. Very good start. Seven, one. Oh, that's what she does best controlling that net. Service fault is called. Racket not pointing in a downward direction, says the service judge. He's controlling the net area at the moment, and that's Juan Guta. Rally pushed us along in the end by Chen Wen Sing. Is a drift in this arena here. Shuffle flying faster coming towards us as we look down on the court. She's a real sweat at the net, isn't she? Uh, it's got Tom Wide as well from Chen Hung Ling. And then for a seven point advantage at the mid game interval for the number six seeds from India. Both tall athletes, aren't they? Oh, they got up. 180. That's high for the 11. Winners of eight career titles together. This Indian combination. But never won a Super Series. Semi finalists from here back in 2009 and the China Masters last year. And as I was saying a little earlier, this is the last major event before the London Olympic Games. And therefore, the opportunity for players to boost their confidence, do well here, gauge their form. Smash. Lovely change of pace. Oh, it's been cool goods. Landed on the line. There by Dijon. 
first point, that the England pair won since we came in for. Chen Wen Sing. A little bit sluggish at the start of the match, but now really challenging for that control of the front of the court. Oh, that's very loud. The tape crawled over. In fact, it bounced twice on the top of the net. Made a valiant effort to get it back. So often work this tactical rally, this Indian combination. Diju hitting in the right place for the shuttle to come back up to his left-handed partner. of the two women are standing their ground at the net. Whoever is, is winning the rally. Yeah, there's that left arm again in the right place at the right time. She won't be happy with that. She'll see that as a missed opportunity. Well, I've talked for months and months about the problems that Chen Wing Sing has got with her low serve, the lack of confidence, the number of errors, and still she's not managed to sort it out. going to break down the rally but all players and especially the women's defences nowadays are so solid in fact it's the change of pace that often is the winning shot so 18 point opportunities for Diju and Dutta from Chen Huen Singh and the opening game to the number six seeds from India. D 
Diju Valiavito and Juala Gutta. In just 11 minutes of play. This is how they won the opening game. Good return of serve, just putting enough pace on it to make it very awkward for Chen Wen Sing, forcing her into error. So once again, confirmation of the score. 21-11 in favour of this pair from India. There is a very good. Yeah. <sighs> this second game second rally of game number two slow serve. She's going to have the courage to go short. Oh my goodness me. It's a woeful serve but got away with it. And it really has become a psychological block as far as Chen Wen Singh is concerned. And well, presumably she'll flick on this occasion because anything's as loose as that last one it would be pounced on oh that was a much better serve yeah good combination play now the number two seeds yeah getting Dwala Gutta in all sorts of a tangle on her defence once again, how loose was that low serve? In fact, struggling really to call it a low serve. Well, it just how good the rest of her game must be because they're getting through to these latter stages of tournaments with her serving, as she did on that last one. Shows how good her partner Chen Hun Ling is. He goes and makes an error on serve. Serve so return and third shot, absolutely crucial in doubles. Tends to set up the rally.
uh, too far back in her defensive stance, Joala Gutta. shot but also the precision saw that her opponent was crouching down for the defense therefore aimed down her backhand side across the body lovely uh, uh, every time she comes forward to the net Juana Gutta really is having quite a major impact on the rally. direction in the rally earlier on is beyond me. Yeah, that's where he really struggles, the tall man, Dijon, getting down low. He was certainly in for back surgery last year, and that's not easy for him. Wen-Sing, it's difficult to understand why she's so hesitant and so tentative on her serve. Yeah, there we go. Keep the shuttle low. Both very wary of the other's attacking capabilities. Close the gap to just one point now. Yeah, good smash. The number two seeds have a two point advantage halfway through game number two.
If only, if only, Chin Wen Sing, that consistency on her low serve. And of course, bronze medalists this pair from the Asian Games in Guangzhou in 2010. Times it's getting all a little too flat and, and fast. I think the Indian combination will suit them more if they can take a bit of pace out of the way. Or at least mix up the pace. Okay, I think they'll get the left handed Joana Gutta forward to the net more. And that's where she's absolutely lethal. And it was the pair from Taipei that did precisely that. A wonderful disguise on that rock shot from Chen Feng Lin. Receiver moving before the shuttle was struck. And even better in that rally. What great anticipation. Oh, great score to pull that around the head shot as well. Purple patch at the moment, apart of course from her serving. But as I was saying in the opening game, the rest of her game is so good and so positive. Mm, what a smash! his momentum going forward. Silver Sarah. 
again. was moving forward with a slight hesitation and then the Fuji didn't move either now great play at the front of the court and now seven opportunities to level this quarter final at one game apiece Oh, good return, it's a uh, uh, Once again, a clash of rackets between the two players from Taipei. But it doesn't matter because they've won the point anyway. Umpire confirms the score and confirms that it is one game apiece. 21 14 in that second game in favour of last year's beaten finalist Chen and Link and Chen Wenxing. This magnificent Singapore indoor stadium. And the players have spoken to their coaches back on court for this third and deciding game in this quarter final. And I can't help but wonder whether the previous two encounters, whether well, that's now having a psychological influence on this match, because of course previous two occasions these two pairs have met and the number two seeds from Taipei have won on both occasions so psychologically awfully difficult now for the Indian pair and this is where their mental discipline mental toughness has got to come into it Yeah, no problem with his movement back in courts. Dijuk getting back to the flick serve very well. 
the fans are really looking for it a little more, though, so, because Chen Wen Sing does flick an awful lot. Oh, it's all good. Deliberately left that one. Diju. Oh, I'm seeing that again. I wasn't entirely convinced by the call. That I'm very convinced by. That was a lovely smash on the tall man. Judges' domains look at the serve. Yeah, it's very understated, is Chen Hongli. It's a very, very competent player. was proved by his two medals at the 2009 East Asian Games. Silver in the men's doubles and bronze in the mix. But not with his partner today. between these two pairs in this deciding game. Good flick serve. Oh, it's just long. Goodness me. Chen Wen Sing was completely deceived by that, but it was a good call. It was quite clearly long. It's a much better serve from Chen Wen Sing. Racket not pointing in a downward direction. Well, psychologically, it's always so important to have the advantage as the players change ends in the deciding game. 
They're both pairs acutely aware of that. That's why it's all a little tense and a little tight at the moment. That's a good smash. throws in the flick again and once again Dijou says thanks very much and thunders down the winning smash and one game all ten all but it is the beaten finalists from last year we have the narrowest of possible margins as the players change ends has to be at least one point in it. And that's all there is. Just one solitary point. of nodding of approval. The two Indian players agreeing with what coach said. And then they're still discussing and encouraging one another. chances earlier on but the lift across court into the forehand corner of Chen Hum Ling not convinced by that tactic because he really played his partner Joala Gutta into trouble into danger Placement of the smash. Joella Gutter was waiting, committed on her forehand defence, therefore hit towards her right hip, her backhand side. And now, the number two seeds have opened up a three point cushion. Up to this point in this deciding game, there haven't been more than two points between these two pairs. Now there's four points. And is this, I wonder, the decisive passage of play? Yeah, she was sharp moving forward there, wasn't she?
Good judgment. That's a drop long. Well, that's a drift coming into play. Slight discrepancy as to whether the shuffle should be changed or not. The Indian pair say no. Empire agrees. She's so sharp down that net now. Chen Wen Singh. Opening game, a little bit sluggish. It was really Dwala Gutta. Absolute control of the front of the court for game number one. And since then, as in that rally, despite the fact that the Indian pair won it, Joanna Gutta has been pushed off the net and at times pushed right to the back of the court. The Indian pair need to close the gap right now. They want to win this. Oh, he's missed it. It's too long. Didn't bring it down steeply enough. And that could prove to be a very costly mistake. Three points away. Make that two points away for the number two seeds. And a place in tomorrow's semi final. It's gone on. Now or never. The Indian combination. from the number two seeds and five opportunities now to close out the match oh my goodness gracious serve forehand there abandoned the backhand serve now making errors on the forehand serve saved and one was squandered has to be said by the number two seeds with the service error to the number three match point opportunities this time third time lucky 21 17 in the deciding game in 45 minutes of play and last year's a beaten finalist still on track umpire yeah. confirms the score 11 21 21 14 21 17 in the deciding game and the number two seeds chin hung link and chin wen sing of taipei safely through to the semi-final.
So that's the first of our quarterfinals has been completed and going the full distance there with Chen Hung Ling and Chen Huen Sing winning through 21-17 in the deciding game. There's still four more quarterfinals to come. Next on court will be women's doubles, then we'll have men's singles, then women's singles, and then a second men's singles will close off this evening's.